welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome thank you guys so so much for joining me in today's video today's video is going to be all about what's in my baby's hospital bag I am actually going to be filming a totally separate video to show you guys what's in my hospital bag um, so definitely look out for that video. I am having a baby boy and he is due September 16th. I'm um, a little over eight months pregnant now, so around I'll be 34 weeks uh, in just a couple of days. And we're getting really, really excited and we already have our hospital bags packed and everything. And um, yeah, so if you guys are interested to see what I have packed in my baby's hospital bag, then just keep watching. So I am no expert at this. Um, this is actually my first baby. So um, yeah, I'm not an expert, but I definitely feel like I've done my research and I've watched a lot of other people's um, What's My Baby's Hospital Bag videos to kind of know exactly what I want to have in here. I know that we don't really need a whole lot. So um, yeah, I'll go ahead and show you guys what's in here. So this is our baby's diaper bag. This is the Skip Hop. I believe it's Chelsea Chic, uh, Downtown Chic or something like that. And I just think that this bag is so gorgeous and I absolutely love it. Um, it has these nice like insulated pockets on the sides and just lots of pockets everywhere. And it has this really awesome like satchel um, strap that I really, really wanted. So yeah, this is not a diaper bag review, but um, yeah, I'll go ahead and show you guys what's actually in the diaper bag. So in this front pocket, I have just a couple of these Soothies pacifiers. And um, I'm not really sure if we need to bring these. I don't know if the hospital will actually provide some pacifiers if we really need them. I honestly don't know if we're gonna give these to him right away, but if he, if we feel like he needs them, we definitely will. Um, but if we feel like he doesn't, then we're just gonna like wait it out and see how that works out. But I just wanted to pack some. These are, I've already washed them, sanitized them and everything, and they are ready to go. So I just have that on the outside pocket. And then there's a small pocket right here that I just kind of put one of these tiny little nail files in. I don't know if you can really see this. It's probably a little blurry, but um, this just came in the Nail Frida, or Nail, yeah, I think it's called Nail Frida, Frida Baby nail file um, it came with the clippers and I just put this in here because I heard somebody say in one of their videos that they really wish they would have brought a nail file because their baby's um, nails were so long when they were born and they just wished that they had something to kind of like trim their nails at the hospital so I thought that that was kind of a cool idea and it takes up absolutely no space so I just put that right in there. I also put another um, pacifier thing in here. This has been washed, that's why it's in a Ziploc bag. But it's just one of the Wubba Nubs. And like I said, if he needs it, I have them. They don't take up any room. So I then have a burp cloth. And yeah, this is just your typical burp cloth. Um, I don't really know if I'm gonna need or if we're gonna need a burp cloth or anything like that. I'm sure the hospital has something, but I don't know. Like I said, some of these things, I just, we have the room in his diaper bag, so I just feel like I just wanted to throw a couple of things in here, even if we don't really need them. Um, I have a pair of socks for him, and I have a couple of hat options. <laughs> because we have a coming home outfit for him and the coming home outfit will have uh, this little hat. It goes with the coming home outfit, which I think is so cute. It has like little bear ears and it's just so adorable. I cannot wait to put him in his little coming home outfit. Um, and so yeah, I have that hat and then I just have a couple of other 
little tiny cute hats that will go with some of the other clothes that I put in here for him. I heard um, a lot of people say that you should just pack a few outfit changes if you are gonna be putting your baby in clothes while you're at the hospital, um, you know, just in case. So yeah, so I packed a couple of outfits and so this will be his coming home outfit. And it says baby bear. This is his little shirt. And then these are the pants and they have little bears on the bottoms. They're so cute. I am obsessed with this little outfit. Um, so there's that. And then we have another little, this is like a sleep sack type of thing. So there we go, there's that. And it actually buttons to be either pants or you can unbutton it and um, have it be a sleep sack, like I said. And this has the little matching hat that I just showed you guys too. Um, and then I also packed, uh, so there I have those two outfits and then I also packed, this is a preemie size uh, sleeper. And I just packed this as like just in case because if some of you guys have been following my pregnancy journey so far, you know that I am only 33 weeks and we had a little bit of a scare the other week where we thought that I was in labor. So I figured just packing one little preemie outfit was uh, not a terrible idea. So those are the outfits that I have for him, but I also do have a outfit that I forgot to put in here that's in our hospital bag. Um, for him, it's like a sleep, another sleep sack type of thing. And it actually matches the robe set that I bought for myself uh, to wear in the hospital. So if you guys wanna see that, then just uh, look out for my hospital bag um, video. But we also, I also put just like a regular muslin swaddle in here. And this is just kind of like a light gray color. And this is by Aiden and Anaya. I know the hospital will probably have their own swaddles, but I just figured I would just throw one in here just in case. But that is actually it. I really don't think I packed too much for the baby. Um, just a few outfits and the pacifiers and stuff like that. I mean, I don't really know what else we would really need for him to begin with. I did actually want to show you guys that I will be bringing a boppy. Um, I don't know if maybe I will just leave our boppy in the car and if we need it, just have my husband go get it at some point. But I've heard that that's something that people like to pack in their hospital bag. Um, so I figured we would just go ahead and bring the boppy as well. But yeah, that is actually it for this video. I hope it wasn't too short. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if there's anything that you guys feel like is essential to pack in your baby's hospital bag um, and I'd love to hear from you guys and please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!